Sunday here in Gothenburg. Day four of the World Junior Championship. At the start of a World Junior Championship game. Face off in the Switzerland zone. So again, Marcus Stensrud not dressed for Norway in this game. For Norway, it will come down to tomorrow's game against Switzerland. This will get slipped back. Moshko will go back for Slovakia. Moshko played it around the boards, but it was intercepted. Centering pass is gobbled up. And right back down the ice for Meshar. Puts on the brakes, sends it into the high slot. Petrovsky the shot. Good save made by Arsun. And Norway slowly on the regroup. With Nygaard, he gets stood up at the blue line. And 300 kilometers from here. And it looks as though some more Norwegian fans have made their way for this contest. There's a shot, scores! The trend. This is a defensive zone face-off by Norway. And Slovakia wins the face-off, but Nygaard makes a great read to jump in on the attempted pass by Meshar and then head up and just under the bar, the water bottle pops and the celebration begins be a little bit different so the seventh power play of the tournament for Norway 0 for 6 so far and the tenth time that leads the world junior championship tenth time shorthanded for Slovakia and nine for nine so far on the penalty kill and this will get grabbed off and Lifted all the way down the ice by Kuchenberg. Norway with Polk. There's the drop. Near side. Westerheim. Westerheim will play it to the boards. Noah Steen will leave it at the line for Polk. Polk will go rink wide. Knee guard. Cross ice. Back to the near point. It comes. The slap shot went wide. And Brandsteg Nygaard will settle it down, lays it down for Noah Steen. Steen got bumped off the puck. Vesterheim went after it. Cope couldn't hold it in at the line, and Ripchick shorthanded. Ripchick to the front of the net and knocked off his stick, and then he got taken down. Nygaard's been all over this game early on. That's a great back check and defensive play by Brandsteg Nygaard. Two shorthanded goals in this tournament. And a 1-0 lead for Norway. Czernik tried to get back to the front of the net. Came off a shin pad. Unable to clear it was Westerheim. Kemets will jump in at the right point. Plays it back in behind the net. And grabbed off by Christopher Lee. He gets wrapped up. Mishiak going in there trying to come up with a loose puck and does. Mishiak now gets pressured. Gets some help from Czernik. And Czernik turned it over to Noah Steen. I'm going to come back to that turnover by Chernik, and it's going to go back to Dvorsky, Dave Reed, talking about how he hasn't scored in this tournament. We'll get to a break before we come back to that. A little bit, they road shot 44-23 by Team USA, but after the first period, it was 26-21. Or after the second period, Ripchick with a shorthanded try. And then ran out of gas in the back-to-back -back against Czechia. They road shot 29 to 8 over the last two periods. That was a 2-1 game, and then it got away from Norway. Norway was right there with them, and two quick goals, and it was curtains. Two and 37 seconds, and it went from 2-1 to 4-1 in a hurry. There's a shot, Guyan trying to get a look at that through some traffic. Comes off the back glass. And this will get grabbed off by Hanzik, and Hanzik has got Pekarczyk from Dvorsky and Chernak at 14.02. Those scoring plays. And for Pekarczyk, his first at the World Junior Championship. Kuchenberg gets bumped in the corner. Christopher Lee trying to tie him up and comes back at the line. Radovojevic will dish it off for Franisek Day, back for Radovojevic. And that goes off the stick of Noah Steen and way up over top the net. And now some room for Steen to skate it out. Gets to the line, that's as far as that play gets. Back out the neutral ice. And right back in for Vesterheim. Petter Vesterheim, Radovojevic stays with him. To the blue line it comes, Solberg the shot. 
Negard got a stick on that, but it's deflected wide. Noah Steen trying to center. And taken by Mayshark. Mayshark for Sturback. And Sturback trying to clear it out of his own zone. And then the 3 0 win over Switzerland, where Adam Guyon pitched a 36 save shutout. Four shutouts. So far at the World Junior Championship, Sweden in two games has yet to allow a goal. In the high slot, Arsut makes a good save off the shot from Petrovsky. Lead pass for Nigard beyond his reach. Nigard will chase after it. Tied up in the corner, comes up the left side boards, and Sikora will send it ahead. Meshar will get the center, send it the rest of the way in. And that will do it for period number one. Ice time coming into this game for Solberg. He led this tournament at 25-31. Well, that opening period, he played nine minutes and 16 seconds. So despite the fact Norway is in a back-to-back -back situation, some of their players, big time minutes in that opening period. Gabriel Pope, eight minutes and 39 seconds. In on that right side, Roussan makes the save and turned it aside as Kimmitz let it go and back up for Nigard. Will play this in, goes in after it, takes a bump on the play from Sikora. Pass was up for his shutout against Switzerland. Kimmitz will rattle this around the boards into the Norway zone. To the blue line, Mishiak with a good bump there gets it over to Ripchik back for Mishiak. Mishiak sends it back up top. Zapka, little head fake by Boris Zapka, takes it to the outside, drops it back. Mishiak is going to send it all the way around the boards, race to the far side, and chopping at it there with steam, but not able to get it past Kimmitz. This will get held in. Stir back, Kimmitz. Back in front, Kimmitz trying to find that loose puck, couldn't. Clear to the blue line, and now it will get sent out by Nigard. We talked to Adam Sikora, and Radovojevic will go to the penalty box. Two minutes each for roughing. Turned over off the faceoff. Vesterheim. Curls up top, drops it at the line. It stays five on five, a rule change. For the double IHF. Lafton from the line lets the long shot go. Off the stick to the corner. Noah Steen tries to chase it down. Back to the line it comes. Young Lafton wires one and back in. Now two goals by Servas Petrovsky. A minute and seven seconds apart. And Slovakia has taken a commanding 5 1 lead. Here as we near the midway mark of this game. Flipped up the left side wall. Wassenden will go cross ice. And Cook will send it the rest of the way in. Vesoya plays it up the left side boards. Vesoya was a member of that Slovak U18 team this past spring in Switzerland. And the shot, Guyane, will deflect that up. Well, it's one thing to be injured, but when you get an injury to your legs, it's hard to train the legs to get back to form and see it coming. Canada and Sweden. Fans at the hotel were all fired up for that one. This is rattled around the board. The Cougar will jump in from the line. Gets it in deep. Back for Nigard. Nigard shot goes off to Nigard of Day. And Fredisek Day will get the center and send it in. Big Day going in after it. Plays the body. Suchi is on it. Suchi into the high slot. Mishiak spins and fires. Day going in after it. Day gets wrapped up along with Coke and it's cleared. And this is against Magnuson. Nice reverse by Moshko and some room up the middle of the ice for Franisek Day. He'll drop it back for Maxim Sturback. Save made by Lundberg, who came in to replace Arsun. As Marcus Stensrud, the number one netminder for Norway. Not even dressed for this game. As for Norway, this is all about tomorrow's game against Switzerland. Noah Steen trying to bring this up into the high slot on for Vesterheim, and the shot went wide. 
Pasternak takes a bump. Quarterfinal loss to Canada last year. Didn't start game one. Started game two against Team USA. Made 33 saves in the 63 win. That's the game that Samuel Hansen was injured. Tomorrow, and that'll be a big game for Norway. Norway versus Switzerland. The winner will stay in this main group, and the loser of say the stakes are high in a one game to stay in the April would be an understatement. This is clear and this will be dumped into the Norway zone. Polk will play it around looking for Noah Steen. Steen got a bump on the play from Frantisek Day. Vesterheim on it, turned it over. Suchi and the save made. Lundberg got the right arm out on that. Suchi big it. After a loose puck takes a bump in the corner. Suchi, the. Marion Moshko. They'll go back for Slovakia. So we saw a couple of hat tricks on the Czechia side yesterday in that game, and Servat Petroski with a couple in this game. Frantisek Day will spin this out to center. And Kuchenberg on it, but... Red Deer during the uh, 2022 World Junior that ended up getting postponed to August. Slovakia gave the USA a real hard time in that, in that game. Now, it's part of the record-keeping in terms of individual stats, but... Slovakia showed in that game that they can play with a very good opponent. Lead pass. Zervat Petroski trying to drive that to the net. Couldn't get around. The defenseman Larson has it again. Tries to go between the legs back to the front of the net. Circle back up top. Nishar drops it back. Shot. Save made. Karam's off to the near side. Grabbed off by Negard. For Noah Steen and they'll chop it in. Adam Guyan will play it to the corner out of arm's way. Temitz will send it up the wall. And back in across Brister from the high slot there by Dalibor Dvorsky. And that whistle over top the net. And Sikora dropped it for him. Not to Francois Lair being a trailblazer in that area. Remember he came at a general manager and made a recommendation to double the posts. That we would get more goals if you bevel the post instead of making them round. Give them a little bevel and yep. more, more pucks would go in off the post and we would reward good. Right. <laughs> so the uh, third power play of the game now for Norway. Slovakia 11 of 11 on the penalty kill. Back around for Noah Steen. Steen, who was the recipient of that elbow from Sturbach. Vesterheim sends it back. Quick shot from the far side. Negard could really rip it. And he shot it wide. Vesterheim has it again. Back for Koch. On for Negard. Plays it back up top for Koch. Through traffic. Diane makes a good save. Gets himself down low and... Able to find that puck through the traffic. Shot to the short side, Guyane, another good save. And trying to bank that win with Steen. At the line, good hit there by Cope. Great time. Dalibor Dvorsky, to me, he's one of those players, Dennis, and you've been around no. players like this over the course of your career. You don't worry about them because they're so good in so many different areas that it's just a matter of time before they're going to end up being productive offensively. And, Zuckerberg trying to out muscle Solberg in the corner. Negard will send this cross ice. There's a penalty coming to Slovakia. Oscar Steen for Negard. Save rebound score. Buster Hodge had some looks. And this is a nice breakout by Norway. Move inside. Chris passing on the rebound. You watch where Vesterheim ends up, too. He doesn't end up going past the goal line, past the net. And as the rebound kicks out to him, he's able to stop.
put it right into the net. Nice, good play. Norway back to the power play with Koch sending it across for Nygaard. Nesterheim sends it back for Koch. Back for Vesterheim, rank wide it goes. Nygaard walks and it scores! Shot by Brancic, Nygaard. Getting it right into his hands and as he moves into this, he can get a good look and right over the left shoulder of Guyen. That is very impressive. And two goals for Grand C. Nagar. One goal for Rest behind the top line. Power play going to goal that Slovakia has given up in the tournament. Norway. Score by number 28. And now the ice it goes. Martin Lundberg, who came in to replace Sebastian Arson. Marcus Stendrud not dressed for Norway. Off day tomorrow for Slovakia. Norway back at it tomorrow. Four and five days for Norway with a pair of back-to-backs. They'll play. Switzerland tomorrow, a huge game for both countries. Back into his own end. I've seen Samuel Hansen for quite some time. Chernik is not on the bench. They were killing some penalties. And like a backhand try. Kayan makes the save. And they may be 